dear perspective master students a warm hello to everybody listening in today interested to enroll into one of, of the university of st gallen masters programs some of you are currently in the final semester of your bachelor's here in St. Gallen, some of you are looking into returning to St. Gallen and others of you are interested in study, studying in St. Gallen for the first time. My name is Urs Füglistaller. I am a management professor with a focus on small dynamic companies in my role as, as vice president for institutes and executive education at the university. I'm very happy to open this master's open day presentation and give you a short introduction to our university. We uh, are one of the world's leading university, universities in the area of business, law, economics, and social sciences, with 14 different master programs, from which eight can be completed in German, nine in English, so some uh, are both English and German. Our university has a wide range, quite a wide range of master program topics from business innovation to international law to business management or our worldwide leading strategy and international management master called SIM. As of recently, you can also complete a master in computer science or a joint medical master in partnership with the University in Zurich. As you have probably already clicked through our homepage, our websites, and read our master's program brochure, I will not go into detail on all the different programs. They all have different focus with some program elements being the same. But later, more to that. In the upcoming minutes, I would like to speak about what, in my eyes, sets the University of St. Gallen apart from other universities and why you should study in St. Gallen. Since almost 40 years, uh, being at the University of St. Gallen, you can see that, I have found the interaction and collegiality within the university to be unique. Collaboration between the different departments allows us to work together and have a positive impact for our students. Our research, the business world and on uh, society. A lot of great people come together in one great university doing great research and teaching. For us, it is very important that we have an impact with what we research and with what we teach. That is why there are many joint efforts between our professors and you, our students. What is why there are many joint efforts, uh, also with the representatives from the business world. This can be in form of research partnership, guest lecturers, bachelors, or master classes, exchange experience groups, or strategic partnerships. The vision of the University of St. Gallen has various interesting elements. I would like to pick up out four aspects to elaborate on. You see that on the next slide. First, to set global standards for research and teaching as an international oriented school with more than 100 partner universities, we always aim for thought leadership and a high standard in the way we teach our topics. Our professors are researching in various fields, bringing their findings directly into the master programs in which they are teaching. Studying in St. Gallen, you will be learning the latest theories, topics, and trends. Second, always including integrative thinking. After wishing, wish finishing your master and when entering the business world, your tasks and resp responsibilities 
will be diverse and multifaceted. The challenge is not only a marketing topic, it will have links to strategy, finance, people skills, and so on. That is why we put a special emphasis on the integrative element in our program designs. It does not matter for which program you apply, you will always need to take courses from other core areas and solve real challenges from the business world. Third point, our entrepreneurial spirit. At the University of St. Gallen, both professors and students have a great deal of entrepreneurial freedom. The interaction between practice, research and teaching inspires to develop new ideas and expand our horizons. We do not just have the claim for insight to impact, we live it every day. Fourth and final, the importance of business and society, not only the program design, but also the broad offering of various student clubs aim for high practical applicability, networking, opportunity, and possibility to apply what you have learned into your classes. I would like to become part, I would like you to become part, and I'm already done uh, our part. I would like you to become part of our wonderful University of St. Gallen, apart from exciting classes. You will also find a lot of different activities going on. They can be from the one of the many student clubs, from Unisport or from the student union at the University of St. Gallen. You will find a unique architecture and most impressive art collection integrated into the campus. The combination of all this makes it a very vibrant and inspiring place to study, to work, meet friends, and sometimes just enjoy campus life. During our bachelor studies, you already learned a lot. Now it's time to set a focus. It would be great if one of your programs would convince you to make St. Gallen your first choice. Thank you very much. And now a warm welcome to Dr. Pascal Eaton, Deputy uh, Decan of Studies. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you very much to this presentation. Um, as uh, Professor Fugistala told you, um, I'm the Dean of Deputy Dean of Studies, and I'm also a longtime fellow of the University of St. Gallen. I did a master's degree here and also a PhD. Um, Besides uh, my PhD, I worked outside at different companies, and then I came back uh, to this institution and have been working here for almost 20 years. So what I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you an overview on our degree course structures. But first of all, uh, an administrative uh, hint to you. If you have any questions, you may use the chat function of this uh, video call. So uh, just place your questions there and uh, you will get an answer just in time. Um, I'm not do doing this presentation on my own. Um, we also have two students who will uh, present to you. That will be Moritz Müller and uh, Gemma uh, Gagalona Hazanas. Uh, they are both uh, master students and they will give you uh, an overview on especially how student life evolves at this institution. So what are we going to talk about? I'm going to give you an overview on our master's level at the high scale and also will give you an, an overview on our international exchange opportunities. That means student exchange or double degrees. And from that on, um, the students will take over and talk to you about student and alumni life and the campus life as well. So um, how is our degree course structure or how is our master's level degree course structures organized? As you can see on this chart, um, you see um, that from beginning from the assessment year, that's the first year of study, up to the master's degree course studies, uh, it's the same structure. We do have uh, compulsory courses, we do have core electives, and we have electives. At the bachelor's and master's thesis, you have to write a master's or bachelor's thesis, and we have the so-called contextual studies. 
um, which is divided into so-called areas of concentration and skills. And at the bachelor's levels, you also have to do uh, languages. Um, this degree course structure is um, one part of our uh, uh, HSK DNA. And uh, as you can see, it's evolved from the first semester up to the ninth or 10th semester of our degree course structure. Um, we do differentiate between so-called classroom studies and independent studies. Independent studies means studying on your own, uh, usually um, uh, powered or, or supported by electronic media. So this is our structure and what the contextual studies is uh, about, we'll be seeing later on. We um, focus on a so-called integrative approach. The so-called contextual studies is part of this integrated approach. And it is the idea or the notion that students should, should be conscious of their role and learn to assume responsibility for society. That's a very, very important statement. And the integrative approach will, um, will be seen or will be shown in our courses and the way we teach. So what kind of programs do we offer? Um, we do have programs uh, which are from the business administration side. This is, for example, marketing management, accounting and corporate finance, strategy and international management, management organization studies and cultural theory, banking and finance. And there are general management and business innovation. Those programs come, come from the business administration side. Then we have programs which uh, derive from economics or political science uh, perspective, which is economics, quantitative economics and finance and international affairs and governance. Then we have uh, programs which focus on law or international law, like the program international law, law and law and economics. And then we have the computer science, which is a pure computer based uh, um, program. As you can see on the right side of the chart, we offer these programs in different languages, like for example, marketing management, which is, uh, is offered in German and in English. So you can study all courses either in German or all courses are offered in English as well. Then we do have programs which are uh, offered solely on English or only on German, like for example, uh, strategy international management, the program is only offered in English. And on the other side, management organization and studies and culture theory is only offered in German. Then we have the program, which are called so-called hybrid programs, which are general management business administration. Those programs require um, you to take courses in German and in English. So you have to take courses in both languages. And the reason for that is that in some of these courses, the material is only available in English. So it doesn't make much sense to give you uh, English taught learning materials. And then in the end, you have to write in a German exam. So that's the, re uh, that's the reason why we have so-called hybrid programs. So how is, um, what, what are we offering besides our um, programs? We also have so-called supplementary courses. At the master's level, there are four offered. Um, and the first one is if you want to become a teacher in business and ed education, uh, you can take supplementary courses or sign up for this program. And it actually starts at the bachelor's level, but you can start or begin with it uh, also at the master's level. It's a program which is over 42 uh, credits um, long, and it takes a, a couple of uh, semesters longer if you want to, to pursue such a degree. And then we have three other programs, um, which are so-called certificate programs. And for example, there's the Climate Solution Program and the certificate, certificate in Financial Technology. Both are offered in English. And then there's one certificate in Digital Communication and Journalism, which is offered in German. And these uh, programs have about uh, 24 credits, and they can be studied uh, um, combined and together with a degree course study. So if you do it um, very smart, or if you do, uh, if you study smart, then you don't have to do any additional credits. So you can do that within those 90 credits that you have signed up for your degree course studies. So when we look at the course structure a bit in more detail, then uh, each program has this, uh, each 90 credit program has this structure uh, of course studies, 
which is 54 credits um, wide, and then the so-called contextual studies, which is 18 credits wide. In each program, you do have compulsory subjects, core electives, and then electives. With the compulsory subjects, the difference from program to program, there are programs where you only have 15 credits of compulsory subjects, and in other uh, programs, you have up to 30 credits of compulsory subjects. Um, with the core electives, there you can um, choose between a set, um, an amount of courses which are offered by the program. And with the electives, you can either choose more core electives or you can also choose courses from other master's program which are open to you. Our contextual studies um, is divided in so-called so -called skills and the area of concentration. There you can either take six uh, credits of skills courses, then you only have to do uh, 12 credits of areas of concentration, or you're doing all your 18 credits in, in the pillar areas of concentration. In each program, you have to write master thesis of 80 credits. And then there are so-called optional works, uh, which you can do. Uh, for example, if you're working for a student initiatives, you made so-called campus credits, um, a maximum of eight, 12 credits, or if you do an internship, when you have started with your master's degree program, you may also go, uh, receive so-called practice credit. There's one exception in the master's program strategy and international management. There, it's not possible to get any practice credits. And the reason is they have a compulsory inter internship as part of their degree cost structure. So what are, um, when you're going to look at the master's programs in detail later on, then the programs will tell you more in more detail what kind of uh, topics you will hear in their compulsory uh, subject bracket or what kind of core electives they will offer. So um, I'm just telling you about the, the basic structure of our programs. And later on, you will have the chance to hear in more detail what the other, uh, what specific programs offer you in detail in those areas. Now, um, at the beginning, uh, re respectively in the last charts, we also showed you uh, the so-called computer science program. Um, it's a program um, which started a year ago, and it's a 120 credits master's program. And the structure there is quite similar, but it has some differences. The contextual studies, for example, that's the same. It's just 18 credits. And core studies are 72 credits. And the master credits is, or, or master thesis is worth 30 credits. And if you calculate um, at, at the Harvard University that you're doing, that you're doing 30 credits per semester, then you can um, imagine that you have to do, um, or you have to calculate for your master thesis one semester to write it. You also have optional work available in, in, this, in this degree, but uh, there's only three credits available to you. So you can only do three credits of campus credits and three credits of practice credits. One uh, other aspect is when you're doing or when you're looking at core electives, there um, in the core electives bracket or pillar, you're actually also um, taking business administration, economics and law courses but because it's a pure uh, um, inf informatics and, and computer science program, of course, this is a limited uh, number of uh, courses you have to take in that areas, in those areas. So I've always, I've always pointed out the so-called contextual studies. Well, what's the contextual studies in details? With contextual studies, we want to uh, address a so-called multidisciplinary approach to our um, Core, uh, co uh, core subjects that we're offering. And when you're looking at this chart, um, we have so-called areas of concentration in contextual studies. And these areas of concentrations are actually, there are eight so-called areas of concentrations. They are media, responsibility, creativity, history, technologies, cultures, society, and law. And uh, for example, to give you an example of what kind of courses are offered in, in uh, these areas of concentration, in law, there's a course like legal management and compliance. Or in creativity, there's a course in design growth life or design your life. On history, there is the economic history of capital markets and financial crisis. Or to give you a last example, in 
in media, you have a course like big data, artificial, artificial intelligence, and the algorithm of society. So those are examples of courses you may choose uh, to take in contextual studies. And you also have the bracket of skills or the pillar of skills courses. And there um, you have more practical related um, courses, like, for example, uh, data security and privacy, or programming with advanced computer languages, or negotiations theory and practical course, or a course like professional effectiveness. So those are all courses that are offered in contextual studies. And those courses are often or in, in the mass majority of our students are, co are considered a real asset. So they really think, well, there's something that where we have learned something for life. So we also uh, get a lot of questions on how to fund your studies. Um, our tuition fee per semester is uh, at the master's level is 1,429 Swiss francs for Swiss students, and it's, it's higher for foreign students. Uh, there is 3,329 Swiss francs. And the reason for that is that um, we get um, also funding from the government, but we get less funding uh, for foreign students than we get for Swiss students. And to make it even in the end, so that we get the same kind of money from each a population of, of, or of each group, um, this, this foreign students need to pay a little bit more for their studies at the University of St. Gallen. So what's the total cost uh, per year? That's uh, between 25 to 30,000 Swiss francs, depending on you know, if you have to pay the Swiss or the foreign fee. Um, if you have financial trouble or run into financial uh, difficulties, we have the so-called study uh, funding unit or study advice center for study funding. And on the chart, you also see the website of this advice center. We also get asked by a lot of students, well, can you work during your studies? And uh, yes, the answer is yes, you can work during your studies. And approximately 80% of our students uh, work besides their studies. That always depends on uh, how much time do you have or do you want to put into your studies at a certain semester? Um, so there are vast uh, differences between the, the amount of, of uh, um, time that you may take up a, um, an internship or any other practical work. So I'm done with the first point of uh, giving you an overview at the master's level. And I'm now going to talk about our international studies, especially on our exchange and double degree courses that we are offering to you. Our population is rather international. We do have 34% of our student population uh, has an international background and they come from 87 different countries. And over 50% over of our students go on exchange. Um, how does it see, uh, look like with our exchange? We have um, over 200 partner universities worldwide where we have um, um, agreements with. And we have about eight, 650 uh, incoming students. And we have you know, about one, over 1,000 students who are going outside or going outside of the university to a foreign uh, university per sem for a semester. So you see, it's a, a very important fact that uh, we're, it's important for our university that our students get in international perspectives. And we encourage uh, to our students to go on an exchange term whenever possible. Now, what kind of exchange terms do we offer? We do offer so-called um, exchange terms where you go to a partner university. Um, in order to go to a partner university, you have to apply for that. And the other one is that you're doing a so-called free mover exchange. And with a free mover exchange, we are actually organizing your uh, studies or abroad on your own. Um, there, the only um, requirement is that it has to be a, 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 a university which is accepted by the local government. So, and with the partner university, of course, there is an agreement between us and the other university. So there is no problem with uh, government acceptance of that. 
You see on this chart, wherever um, these universities are, um, the focus, main focus, of course, is on European univers universities, but um, our exchange options are all over the world. Now, we have uh, specific programs also available to you, and those are so-called master double degrees or master degrees courses. And there are two different forms of master degree courses. One is that you are registered with your or with a master's program and the master's program offers a specific double degree so you can only go on an exchange or to this specific university when you are immatriculated in that specific master's program and then we offer so-called double degree pro program where it is ir irrelevant in which program you are actually registered so which programs those are, um, which programs offer more specific W programs, you can hear that or you will be getting information about that later on when you look at your specific master programs that interests you. And what's spe special about so-called double degree program is that in the end, you're not only getting a degree from the University of St. Gallen, but you're getting also a full degree from the partner university. And that's very unique. And uh, how is it done? You're actually doing a certain amount of credits at the University of St. Gallen. And then you're also doing a certain amount of credits at the foreign university. And then the credits you're doing there are getting accredited at our university. And in the end, it makes up the 90 credits. And the, si the same uh, you know, is done at the foreign university. So in the end, you get um, both two, two degrees from two institutions. One other, one other specific program is the so-called TEMS, Masters in International Management program. And here um, you are actually getting your HSK degree and also degree the degree from the TEMS institution. And uh, in the end, you also get two degrees. And TEMS, what is TEMS about? TEMS is a strategic alliance between 34 leading business schools all around the world. And part of the SEMS network are also 70 multinational companies and also nonprofit organizations. And what are you doing there? You're actually taking courses in St. Gallen. You are taking specific SEMS courses in St. Gallen. You are taking specific SEMS courses at a foreign uh, institution. And you're also doing a internship which is um, um, brought to you or organized by the SEMS network. And in the end, yeah, you're also getting a degree from the SEMS network as well. It's one of the top ranked network, as you can see on the chart. It's number one in the Economist, and also it's number eight in the Economist and in the Financial Times as well. And uh, the other thing, of course, is when you're doing a program like SEMS or double degree, you are also um, advancing and enhancing your network all over the world with the students you are meeting in those programs as well. So that was my overview on uh, the master's degree course structure and uh, also the exchange opportunities that we are offering at this institution. I hope I have already given you some va very valuable information. And now I'm heading over turning over to you to Moritz Müller, who will talk to you about student lives, life. And I'm wishing you a very interesting rest of this information session. In that case, goodbye, and see you hopefully at the University of St. Gallen. Perfect. Thank you very much, Pascal. And uh, also a very warm welcome uh, from my side. Uh, my name is Moritz Müller. I'm a second year student here at the University of St. Gallen at the master's level. I'm studying in the general management program, and I'm happy to tell you a little bit more now uh, about our student life here at the University of St. Gallen and uh, how, um, how it's to live, uh, to live in St. Gallen to study at, at HSG. But um, before I will tell you a little bit about, about uh, the student life here, I have uh, support by a fellow student, uh, Kim, who will tell you about her experience here at Haske.
Yes, I can. I can only say that I fully agree with all uh, everything that that Kim Kim said about uh, her experience here at Haski and at, uh, at in St. Gallen. Um, but now let's dive into into more detail. Um, first of all, very relevant uh, for for every one of us is uh, that master study master studies and master programs here at Haski have a high practical relevance, meaning that the lecturers and professors who are teaching us here in our courses have uh, very often are coming from the professional world, have experience uh, with working with in working with companies. Um, we use a lot of case studies uh, in the lectures. Uh, for instance, in the last two semesters, I worked together with a group of students on a, uh, on a pro project together with a big industrial company from Germany, and we were helping them with their sustainability strategy. Um, it's possible for you to write your math thesis also with a, uh, together with a company, and internships are a big part uh, of, the, uh, of, your, of your master program here, meaning um, you will have the flexibility to take, for instance, uh, a semester leave to do a six-month six internship or to uh, squeeze an internship into, into your summer break. Um, that, that's also uh, very much possible. Um, but besides internships, it's also, um, and you've all read, also heard it uh, from Pascal, um, uh, working while studying at HSG is also possible. I have to mention that the HSG curriculum is designed to be a full-time studies. However, I would say that that the majority of master students here at HSG are working besides their besides their studies. That of course means that you're not able to take as many credits uh, as if you would work uh, or if you would not work part time. Uh, and this, of course, leads to to an extended, uh, extended time of studies. But uh, I mean, St. Gallen is a nice place. So it doesn't matter if, if it's a semester longer or not. Um, and also uh, very important to mention here is that uh, with finding a part time job, uh, we have a great career service yet at high school who have a job database and who can help you with finding a part time job. And besides helping us finding a part-time job. The Career Center um, is, also, is also helping us um, with finding internships and full-time employment after our studies. They have, they have a wide range there of offerings that they try to help us with. For instance, you have one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions together with the Career Center. You can have your CV, uh, a CV check. You can walk in uh, to, to have them take a look at your cover letter. They provide us with interview training. There are also a lot of workshops uh, offered by the Career Center, meaning um, case interview training or um, how, to, how to deal with a higher view. And of course, one of the most, most important aspects of the Career Center is to get us students in contact, with, in contact with companies. So one of the main tasks is also to host events, to offer and to organize career fairs. Uh, every year we have the big HSG Talents Conference where I think 100 companies are coming together and you have the possibility on a career fair to meet company representatives or um, get to know companies a little bit better in workshops they offer. We have specific specific industry days um, offered by the career center where companies from one specific industry are coming and are hosting workshops and there are career fairs to meet to meet company representatives. For instance, they were just the Husky banking days or they are the Husky insurance days. So depending on what you're looking for, there is, uh, there is an offering from the career center uh, in this regards. Also, of course, important to mention um, as part, and now coming a little bit more into how uh, into the study part at HSG is, uh, is our library. Um, is, it's, uh, of course, a, a traditional academic library with access to, to a lot of, uh, of books and publications and research papers. We also have a lot of uh, databases online we can access to find the most recent publications for the master thesis or for papers you have to write during the semester as part of a course. Um, and the library for our students functions as, uh, as a main workspace. We have specific workspaces for us as master students. Uh, and one very helpful tool is that we have this seat finder uh, where you can look in, in the high ski app how many seats are uh, already taken to if you're coming up to the university, you already know where's the best place uh, for me to find to find a space. Then um, also very important aspect, and I really want to, to highlight this as one of the unique aspects uh, of studying at HSG is 
the, the landscape of student initiatives that we have here. Um, at HSG, there are over 120 student clubs which you can engage in. And I would really recommend everyone coming to HSG to, to take a look at all the, the initiatives that we have here and to engage in one. Because if you're, whether you're interested in, for instance, startups, you can help um, launch and help organizing Europe's uh, biggest student organized startup conference, Start Global, or whether you're interested in politics and discussing uh, recent recent topics, the St. Gallen Symposium is a great place to, to help and to engage in, or whether you're interested in, for instance, sustainable fashion, we have the Andres Fashion Show, which is hosted by students. So there's a wide offering which we can as students engage in, and it's not only a great way to, to already apply our, our learnings from, from classes, but also it's just great, I, from a personal experience, I can only say it's a great experience to to work together with your fellow students and to organize some cool event or to to host something that uh, that's fun so that's something that that i can really really recommend it to and which is definitely a new unique part of of HSG. um also important to mention for uh, for uh, HSG is that we have a very strong community of alumni um with being a, a student at HSG, you enter this community and after you've graduated, then you're a full member of the, the HSG alumni. There are already over 33,000 personalities and in this alumni community. And what's really special about this community is that there are many events hosted every year. There are over 350 events that are hosted every year online and offline. And it's a great, great opportunity to network with the people. But already during your studies, the alumni help us students by, for instance, financing student projects or by offering mentoring um, to towards the students so that I, they, for instance, help us with their contacts in the in the uh, in the in the world so that we can find a better way for us to find an employment. But now um, to one of the final aspects with regards to studying at Haske and to student life is how's the life in St. Gallen. I think in the video uh, where Kim told you about her, her life, uh, it's important to mention we have a great offering of, of sports at Haske. St. Gallen is a beautiful place, a beautiful city um, with, uh, with a great heritage and uh, nice places to, to, to be. Um, with regards to accommodation, most students here live in shared flats, um, which in a price range from 400, uh, from 500 to 700 Swiss francs per, per room. Um, it's um, our, as a students, we organize ourselves via the Facebook group called Sharing is Caring, where students who leave St. Gallen post their flats and then incoming students can, can reach out to them and um, have a great way to find to find flat. There are also many vacancies, so it's not that hard to find uh, to find a flat here in St. Gallen as it might be in other other cities. With regards to food and eating at HSG, we have uh, we have two me two mensas um, where you can find uh, different daily menus from six twenty uh, every day. But we also have many uh, small coffee places where you can grab uh, grab a coffee uh, on your way to the lecture. And then also it's possible to, to, to enjoy life in St. Gallen. Uh, we have many uh, restaurants, bars and clubs. Important to mention party is also a big part of student life here at, at HSG. Uh, it's uh, the classical saying is that Mittwoch is Spritwoch, meaning every Wednesday um, we students uh, go out and um, it's, uh, it's party time uh, and everyone is going out, especially at the beginning of the semester, of course, with the semester going, uh, going on and uh, lectures and assignments are taking a lot more of our time. Uh, it's a little bit less partying during this, during this semester, but especially at the beginning, uh, there, there's a lot going on. And also important to mention, I think, that we have a good connection and, uh, of public transport from St. Gallen, so it's a great location to also travel from. It just takes you one hour to be in Zurich, 45 minutes to be at Zurich Airport. It's two and a half hours via car or train to Munich. So for instance, during September now, the Oktoberfest, many students went there uh, because it was so close. And also, for instance, to Milan, it's just uh, four hours by car or train. So I can only tell that uh, St. Gallen is a, is a beautiful place to live. University of St. Gallen is a great university to study uh, with a wide, wide range of offering with regards to sports, student initiatives, and, uh, and an overall great community of students who's engaging in, in every way and who's a very ambitious cohort of people. And um, now I think it's uh, time to show you our campus as you're not here uh, with us physically and can walk around campus. So we've prepared a short video for you and uh, so you will get some impressions of how our campus looks like.
Welcome to the campus of the University of St. Gallen. My name is Andreas Oberholzer and I'm a student of the master program Business Innovation. And today I'm going to give you a campus tour. We have various teaching formats, lectures, flipped classroom, exercises, seminars, and some of the smaller classes, they take place in a room like this one. But what I actually want to show you about this room is the nice view. Because whenever I feel stressed, I just have a look outside and I can instantly relax. Here we are in the Audi Max. It's our biggest lecture room. And when lectures are full, we are over 600 students in here. After lectures during the day, we can often benefit from events in the evening, such as podium discussions with leading industry experts. You can come to the library to borrow books and articles for your research, but more than that, it offers you a quiet place for studying and, if you urgently need one, a charging cable for your device. I always say that this is our social area. Why social area? We have the library, we have food, we have the Audimax up there. And that way everyone meets here and there's always a friend to chat to when you're here. The Students' Union not only represents the interests of the students towards the university, but also shapes a landscape of over 120 student initiatives. The clubs range from dance classes to startup programs and sustainability forums. The Career Service Centre is my partner in all my questions on what to do after my studies. I can ask for an individual career counselling, participate in one of their workshops or get to know my future employer at their career fair. We're now in the co-working space. It's a casual place for studying and work. We have a nice coffee bar where we can come for a short break. We can move around all the furniture as we need. And last but not least, we are not forced to be completely quiet in here. This is our canteen where we eat lunch. But now, let's go on to the campus bar. Here, we gather for a coffee or beer after lecture. It's always a great place to meet new people and it's completely student-run. We have access to the Unisports program and what you do here totally depends on you. We have group fitness courses such as tennis, boot camp or yoga and if you prefer to work out on your own, we even have a fully equipped gym. At the University of St. Khan, entrepreneurship is taught and put into practice. In many courses, we are asked to develop our own projects and to pitch in front of real clients. And because the best ideas usually don't come in a regular classroom, we have the maker space. Here, we can work on our own business models and create prototypes. As most of my friends, I moved to St. Gallen for my studies. We all live in shared flats in the city center of St. Gallen and enjoy student life in this beautiful part of Switzerland. And by the way, the city center is just 10 minutes by foot from the campus. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you very soon on the campus of the University of St. Gallen.